loves and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having an amazing day so far. Welcome back to the studio. I've changed a couple of things around here. I moved my desk closer to the window so I get more natural light now and I moved the rest of the yarn storage closer to the door and the whole room is bigger now. It looks bigger now. I also somehow figured out the yarn situation, uh, which was pretty bad. There were piles of yarn everywhere in the room, so I cleaned up that as well, which I am a little bit ashamed to admit because um, it's not very nice to see and I don't film those parts of the studio and now I can finally show you the whole thing. So the whole studio, not just the second part of it. But yeah, this is a working area. Uh, things get messy sometimes. I do my best to clean the the studio every time I close the door. So after the working day, this space is not perfect by any means, but it works for me, which is I think the most important. Okay, so I'm going to show you around a little bit, but please have in mind that you don't need that much yarn as I have here. And the only reason I do have so much yarn is because when I get an idea and I want to start on something, I need yarn right away. And because I order most of the yarn online, and I have to wait five to seven, sometimes even more days for the yarn to arrive. I buy in bulk. So I buy larger amounts of yarn and then I uh, just use it as, as I go. So um, I usually order colors and um, type of fiber that I use most. And that's what you will see. So it's mostly cotton in colors I like. But you don't, of course, you don't need that much yarn uh, at home. Of course, it's nice to have yarn, we all know that, but you don't need it. Welcome to the office. The first thing on the left when you walk in is a brand new addition to the studio. I've ordered these three shelf units from Ikea. I got rid of a couple of old ones and I replaced them with these new ones. This is where I store a portion of my yarn, a collection of my books, a sewing machine and some other bits and pieces, but mostly books and yarn. This is also where I keep this beautiful bag. It was made by my lovely grandmother. She made it herself and the fabric is very detailed and just beautiful. On the right side of the room when you walk in behind the door is another part of my yarn storage. If you watched any of my previous vlogs, you are probably familiar with this one. There is nothing new about it. We just moved it from one side of the room to another and here is where I keep most of my yarn. This is our 100k YouTube play button. I would like to put this on the wall somewhere near my desk. At the moment we are around 150k, which is so surreal to me, but I am super grateful for each and every single one of you. Thank you for sticking around and watching my videos, it really means a lot. I also have two packages that we are going to open together. One is from IKEA and this one is from Yarn Plaza. We are going to open the Yarn Plaza first. They have sent me something very exciting which we are going to open and see for the first time together. And after that we are going to open the IKEA box and put together my new card. On the opposite side of the room again is a mirror. I use this mirror to see myself when I'm trying out new things, new crochet and knit projects. It's nice to know how they fit and if they need any additional changes. These are my blocking mats. They don't really belong here, but I was just using them as a camera stand. This is my box of finished and unfinished projects a small IKEA drawer and the pegboard where I keep my loom. Now this is the project that is currently on the loom. I have to say I'm not very happy with how it looks. I am a total beginner at weaving and it's very hard for me to envision how the final item will look. So things like this happen sometimes. I wanted to push myself to finish the project even though I don't like it that much, but that just discouraged me from weaving in general. So I think I will see what I can do with the fabric I have and potentially start a new project on Monday that would be really nice and this is the whole office so one more thing I had a little accident a couple of weeks ago because there is no way I can hide it I have to tell you that I had an 
little accident in the kitchen that was probably around three weeks ago. I'm not going to go into any details because I don't want to trigger anyone. I just want to let you know that um, I had an accident. It's getting better. It's here on my finger and every time I will film, I will cover it so you won't be able to see it. Like I said, it's getting better every day, but this thing on my finger will stay here uh, for the next maybe month or even more. So everything will look normal again, but until then I will cover it and that's it. <laughs> And this is how the card looks now. It looks really good and I cannot wait to start using it. I like this type of organization because it is all I need for the project I'm working on. Here are my notes, my little treasures of new crochet patterns and designs. And at the bottom is, in my opinion, the Crochet Bible, a complete crochet course from Shannon and Jason Mollett, Bowls by. I hope I said this right. If you have a question regarding crocheting, this book has all the answers. This is the collection of my favorite crochet hooks and scissors, measuring tape in a shape of snail, a whole box of stitch markers and this little bag where I keep my pencils and punching needles. The middle part is reserved for projects I'm currently working on, but those will stay secret for now. And at the bottom is spaghetti yarn in a few different colors. I will use those in a future project, but not right now. This is just where they live at the moment until I find some additional time to rearrange the whole yarn storage. We will do that together probably at the end of this summer. And of course, this is a cane with the DK weight cotton yarn. This is an experiment project for me. I usually don't do lace, but I found this stitch on Pinterest and I needed to try it out. I think the stitch and the fabric is beautiful and this eventually will be shirt or just a top that I will hopefully share on my blog as a pattern. So today is Friday, I don't have any other plans than uh, editing a video tutorial, a brand new one. But before I do that, we are going to open a box that came from Yarn Plaza. This is going to be an exciting one because uh, they just came out with their brand new yarn label called pink label. I'm very happy for them. I have been buying yarn uh, and other small items from them for my projects for years now. Um, they have an amazing team of people and they are always so kind and helpful. But just a little disclaimer here, this vlog was not sponsored by them and the yarn you will see was sent to me free of charge. So just so you know that um, I did not buy it myself, they sent it to me and yeah, now let's have a look what's inside the box.
fetus are everywhere look look all of this okay guys i don't know if you can see or not but those little confettis are everywhere look at this oh So hello from the future, I needed to start brand new vlog because if I would join all the footage from the second part of the May together, the vlog would be way too long. I would prefer to keep them 10 to 15 minutes max, just small updates what is new and what is going on in the office. So I will end this one here. Thank you so much for watching and keeping me company. Next week is going to be tutorial week. This means I have a new tutorial already ready and waiting to go live for you guys. It's going to be a tutorial for baby blanket, a very easy and beginner friendly one. So make sure you don't miss that. I also made a pattern and tutorial for crochet baby shoes that goes perfectly with that pattern and tutorial of course for baby blanket that I will post next week and the baby shoes tutorial will go live in two weeks so first is going to be crochet pattern for a blanket and then I'm going to post a new vlog and then crochet pattern for baby shoes so both of them will be free patterns available on my blog and my youtube channel and of course as always for those who want to support my work or want additional sizes in the pattern will be able to purchase a pdf pattern that will be available in my pattern shops on etsy, reverly, lovecrafts and maybe maybe even on my own website we will see about that again thank you so much for watching i will see you guys next week stay safe stay well and happy crocheting bye <laughs>